Good afternoon, it's New Jersey Garden. It's a cloudy day in August. We're having, I think we're having more rain. We've had a lot of rain this summer. And I am gonna do an updated garden tour of the front garden in a few days. We have a lot of zinnias popping up, but I just wanted to talk quickly about low maintenance gardening. Uh, gardening for people who don't have a lot of time, uh, such as myself. I used to spend a lot more time gardening. I used to spend you know six to 10 hours every weekend gardening and weeding planting new seeds and um, I had a baby a couple years ago and I have a job and I just don't have a lot of time to garden so I'm sure many of you out there don't have a lot of time to garden either and are looking for some um, easy plants to grow. I tend to grow a lot of perennials because I find that it's um, more economical. I like to be able to divide my plants when they're doing well. I love getting free plants out of existing plants and I've found a lot of plants here in, in our yard that have been resistant to deer and rabbits and um, we do have a, a big deer problem here and I've you know just through trial and error have found some plants that have worked really well for my needs um, especially with time I just don't have a lot of time to garden so I just wanted to show you you can still have a, a pretty good looking garden without really spending all that much time I only spend about two to three hours a week weeding I could spend a lot more time but um, that's all I have so um, you know, you. I just wanted to encourage anyone who's starting out with gardening not to get overwhelmed. It can seem overwhelming at times um, with the with the weeding and and just you know, gardening can just feel like a lot of work. But it's really enjoyable, and I found that I've cut down on the amount of work I've had to do just by picking the right plants. So anyway, this is um, in the beginning of spring. I did a, vi a few videos on this little garden. It's a very small space I have tucked under an old deck that we have. We have a fixer upper house. Um, and I'm not gonna comment on, on the house or why I live in this house, but um, it's a really old house and it needs a lot of work. So I actually um, try to spend, spend as little time <laughs> as possible in the house and I love to be outside making the outside look nicer. So um, that's how I get started actually with gardening is I just wanted to be out of the house and making the yard look nice and I, it just grew over time. So this, right here is just a row of peonies and what I like about peonies is that once you once they bloom in the spring you can just cut down the blooms and you still have fairly nice looking foliage for the rest of the summer I mean this is occasionally um, you'll get uh, powdery mildew if there's a lot of rainy weather but this year I've been lucky and I only have a little powdery mildew on some other peonies by the front garden but um, it just makes a nice little hedge um, and it it's only, I think there's six plants in here. And it's probably, you know, only like a 20 foot by, by six foot rectangular space here. So I crammed a lot in here, but just super easy plants. They just bloom. You can cut off the blooms if you want to. If not, you can leave them. Um, and they're just very easy plants. They live many, many decades. Um, so there's just very little pruning work that has to be done with peonies. And then down here um, I have, I had uh, a few spring blooming um, bulbs. I had like some daffodils and a hyacinth and Johnny jump ups, which are um, like a little vi viola perennial. And those were zero maintenance. Um, anyway, the big plant in front of you, um, which keeps growing every year, I keep dividing it. It's called Basket of Gold Alyssum. I did a video on this um, actually two years ago. That was my first video. and. It is a bright yellow flower in the spring, and yes, it doesn't look that pretty now, but what I love is there's literally no maintenance with this plant, and look how it's spread. I, so I had, the, I had a small plant, I, I planted it from seed about three years ago, and every year I get this big clump right here and I divide it. But this year, maybe from all the rain we've had, I've had a lot of, um, we've had a lot of rain here this summer, more than, way more than usual. We've had, um, look at all these, you know, little, clusters here that I've just developed and so I didn't even have to plant these so if you're looking for something if you're in the zone 6a um, uh, it's a drought tolerant plant it's called basket of gold alyssum it is a spring blooming plant it only blooms like three weeks in the spring but it does um, have these kind of grayish green greenish bluish uh, leaf leafy you know um, fairly nice looking leaves that require no maintenance whatsoever so that's another easy plant and then down here, I've talked about this a few times, this is just um, California poppy. It's actually looking a lot better now that um, the days are getting a little cooler here. 
the ferny foliage can get a little brown if it's if it's too hot or if there's too much sun but it's still blooming and this started blooming in april so and then it's mid-august now so that is another plant that requires no care whatsoever this over here is a perennial phlox it's a creeping phlox it has beautiful pink um, flowers and it really spreads quickly and it makes a fairly nice looking mat all summer long it doesn't really brown all that much i have a few weeds in there but other than that, I mean, it's just an easy, easy plant. Um, and there's one more plant over here that I have to take out or remove the seeds. This is just bachelor button. But again, it's not a plant that um, you really need to um, do any deadheading with or prune. It just bl it blooms constantly for about three months. And then I just, I usually just chop it down um, to the ground right around now and collect all the seeds. So these are just some ideas for some really easy, low maintenance plants that you can have in a small space without really requiring any work. I mean, I weed in here maybe once a month. I just pull out like 10 or 12 weeds a month. I mean, it's a super easy little garden space. So you don't have to have, um, you know, high, oh, here, over here there's a poppy, which I can cut, you know, cut back further. But that was a poppy that bloomed in the spring. That was um, a poppy that blooms um, briefly, but it's beautiful. It's called Princess Victoria Louise. And I did a video on, on that. So I just wanted to give you guys some ideas on easy perennials. We're in zone 6A. And um, I wanted to also mention, if you're not sure if a plant is in, you know, applicable to your growing zone, there is a website I have used over the years to look up various flowers and plants and find out what zone they will grow in. Um, and it also gives reviews on plants from different, from people all over the, the country. Um, it's called davesgarden.com and so if you go on there into davesgarden.com and you type in a plant name or a flower name you'll get you know reviews on the plant and what growing zone and it's been a super helpful website for me and I wanted to share that with everybody um, so if you're ever not sure if something will grow in your zone or you want to find out if it will become a weed or if it if it grows too too um, too well sometimes you know flowers can become like weeds if they spread too much. You can find all that out at davesgarden.com. And I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and viewers. I really appreciate everybody watching. And please leave any comments or questions for me. And I look forward to doing more videos for you. Have a great day. Thank you.